Hello everyone, today I want to show you the new webhook uh, action and uh, we'll use that webhook action to build a very simple flow uh, where you are able to search through an API endpoints and retrieve uh, product items and display them in the bot message. So in order to do that, we'll use the JSON dummy API. Uh, this is uh, that one here, which has a special point where you can search through the products uh, via uh, keyword. So here the idea is just to demonstrate how you can retrieve information from an external service and display it, use it in the bot. Of course, you can do the opposite, use information that are in the bot and store them in, uh, in your CRM or any uh, uh, external service you want. I'll show that in a, in the next video, but it's super simple. We'll copy this URL here and we will build the flow in the, our bot builder. So first we need to send message to ask the user to type uh, a search keyword. So hello, um, please type a search keyword. Here you go. Um, don't forget that you need to actually wait the user answer. Uh, otherwise, it will continue directly uh, to the next action. That's something we we uh, often uh, forget. So yeah, <laughs> don't, uh, I, I do it as well, so don't forget it. Um, so add the webhook action just after, because we want to use the, um, what the user just entered in the webhook action and we'll do it uh, directly in the URL path. So we can just copy uh, what we what we have from the, the URL from the dummy the JSON API. And you can see the structure here. There is a question mark and then the key of the, um, the query and then the, um, the word w which we want to, to search. So here we don't want to always search for form. We want to search for whatever the user has entered. And we'll do that via the variable called last user answer. So you can build this way uh, and it will work. We can we can try it directly. Uh, yeah, you see the URL is valid and we get the results here. We could we could use this way, or you can also use the small helper here to build the, the query. So to replicate this, we'll do Q, which is the, the key, and then we'll use the value last user answer. So once you have this, you don't need it anymore in the in the query. Uh, it's exactly the same, right? Uh, doing this and this uh, are the same. It's just a small effort to yeah to clean up a bit uh, your your action. So let's try it out again, and you'll see it's exactly the same. So what we want to do with the result is storing it in a variable and then displaying it in a message. The idea here is to parse the, the array of products and only save the title. So how are we going to do that? First, we need to, if we want to, to store uh, an array uh, value, we need to create a variable, which is a, a list or an array. And we do it, uh, you can do it directly here by typing um, uh, your, uh, uh, your variable name, but you can also uh, click here and create directly the, the variable. Um, here we'll say it's the product uh, list and we'll set the type as a list uh, with no initial value. Okay, so now we need to select it from um, uh, from the store success response. And you can, of course, uh, add more variables, but uh, at the moment we'll just uh, use only one variable to store them, uh, the response. So once uh, you have the variable, you need to uh, specify the path you want to store. And here you have all different paths. So here you can see that uh, you can save the first product ID, uh, pro product title, and so on. But in our case, we want to have all the products, but only the title of the product. So what we will do is use the flat map function, which is uh, down the list. And you can see that it's going to parse each 
uh, object each item of your array and return only uh, the specify key. So here we want only the title. Let's see what it does. And we can save it. Once we save the action, we need to uh, display it in a message. And how we're going to do that is by sending a message and say, OK, I got uh, I got some uh, some search results. And oh, here you go. Uh, we're going to use the variable uh, we created previously, which is list of product. Oh, uh, I have different ones, but I think it's product list. Yeah, that one. So we have different uh, functions and different options for lists, and these are only available for lists. So for instance, if you want to only print the first object of the list, you, you can select this option. But here we want to enumerate each, of, each uh, item. And enumerate will actually uh, nicely parse the array and put a small number of the index of the, um, of the item in front of it. And you'll see the results, let's see. Okay, and save this. So now we're gonna try this uh, very small flow in the simulator. Say hello. Okay. So here it's uh, prompting us to type a keyword. Let's say uh, the same as uh, the demi API example form. And here there is a small difference with the behavior of the real bot. Of course. Uh, the webhook on our server side, when you run the, the, your flow in production, won't stop and won't ask you this, of course, to fake the success, failure, or etc. It will do it automatically. But in the sake of the simulator, we need to be sure that you want to trigger the real webhook. Sometimes you don't want to pollute your CRM with test data. And that's why we provided a way to actually fake the success or the failure of um, the of your query. If you want, for instance, to test different paths and different behavior of your bot, you may want to test the case where your request uh, fail or success with a different payload. So you can do this and it will prompt a small model. Here, we want to actually trigger the real webhook to, to see what it looks like. Let's see, here, here you go. So here you have the small gray uh, message which had which has uh, switched from buttons to the actual result and what was uh, coming back from the um, from the webhook. Uh, so it's dip displaying what it does uh, behind the scene and behind the scene he grabbed uh, an array and stored it in the product list variable. And then in blue you have the message from the bot. Okay. Uh, I had some search results and you can see the enumerate function, which is uh, putting in a nice uh, list, uh, number list, uh, your results. So this is super convenient if you want to display uh, a huge list uh, to the user. So here you go. That was a, a very simple uh, example of how to retrieve informations from external services and display them in your bot.